is Pastor Kim with a word for your weekend. We continue with our Friday looks at one of the upcoming Sunday's readings. This coming Sunday, February 14th, is the last one in the season of Epiphany. It's known as Transfiguration Sunday, and we'll be hearing the story of Jesus and his closest companions as they climb up a mountain where Jesus suddenly begins to shine and with an astonishingly bright light. Elijah and Moses, long dead, appear with Jesus. It's unlike anything the disciples have ever seen. In his second letter to the Corinthians, Paul reflects on this light. He writes, even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The Sundays after Epiphany began with Jesus' baptism and they end with the three disciples' vision of his transfiguration. As believers, Paul writes, we're able to see the God light in Jesus' face because the same God who created light in the first place has shown in our hearts to give us that vision. The light of God's glory in Jesus has enlightened us through our baptism and shines in us for others to see. Part of our baptismal commission is to let your light shine before others that you may glorify your Father in heaven. Paul reminds us that the focus of Christian life is not on us, but on Christ Jesus. Just as God made light shine at creation, God makes the light of Jesus Christ shine in our lives as we live out our baptismal calls. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Sunday.